What's up guys? Uh, today I got a review for you on this guy right here. This is the new CRK Impinda that I'm sure a lot of you are aware of. CRK just announced it and released a small batch at Blade Show this year. And this is one of those first 50. <clears throat> I got a proxy to, um, uh, to get it for me and I've been playing around with it for a couple days. Used it a little bit and I'm gonna have to give my review on this little guy right here. So First off, I want to do a size comparison. Let's do it with something like the Swish buoy. So you can see that this is right around a three inch blade. Another uh, common knife that a lot of you might own or have experience with is the Benchmade 940. It's a lot of tie right there and I love gray knives like this. And so you can see that the Impinda is still smaller than 940, again right around that three inch blade. <clears throat> so one thing that of course is new about this for CRK is it is their first slip joint. This is kind of uh, Chris Reeves' response to the new Hinder slip joint, the new Benchmade slip joint, this whole new slip joint fad thing that's going on. The modern traditional knife is I think what most people are calling it. And so they paired up with Harzi. You can see his signature in there, Will Harzi and they made this knife right here and that's the first thing i want to talk about the design of this knife is absolutely beautiful i love it so much it is just gorgeous it uh is so clean looking it's functional too you have this very very nice blade shape um you can get the tip to your work really easily uh it's making me <laughs> Just looking at the aesthetics makes me uh, want to keep this knife, and we will get into why I cannot later. Um, but the aesthetics of this knife are very, very well done. Um, and so I think that that execution, I mean, it's got a very functional blade shape too. Gets nice and thin behind the edge. I had no problem. The limited cutting that I did with this uh, went very well. It's typical Chris Reeve uh, convex grind and that sort of thing. Uh, another thing that I think is really nice about this is there are different carry options. Here's the box right here that it came in, and it's a little out of sorts right now. Where did it go? There it is. You can see up there in the little corner up here, I put it there so it didn't get scratched up by the Torx wrench. But there's a little filler that you can put in place of this pocket clip so that it's just flat on both sides, and then you can even carry it in this little pouch here. Uh, which I think is very, you know, that's really nice. A lot of guys like to carry their traditionals like that. Um, I would prefer a po pocket clip, but I think that it's really cool that they give that option. So, unfortunately, that's just about all the good on this knife for me. Um, Alright, so let's just get into the bad parts. First off, I'm not blown away by the fit and finish of this guy. If I close it, you can see that the liner is actually raised, and if I run my finger across it, you can hear it catch. This portion of the liner is raised above the titanium and then it sinks down. Maybe you can see it there too. There's a little gap here and it sinks down. So up here the liner is above the scales and down here it is below the scales. It is not flush at all. Whenever I open it, I still have the same thing going on. So at least it's consistent in that way. So I'm not you know, I don't, I don't absolutely love that at all. I mean, when I get into the price of this knife, um, which, you know, talking about the price of this knife, uh, I'll do that a little bit later. But considering the price, I do not want it to have that. I want it to be flush. I want it to be perfectly beautiful and perfect. And it's just not. <clears throat> so that's the first knock on it that I noticed pretty quickly because, you know, I was like, this is a CRK slip joint. Really all that I've owned um, other than this are GEC farm and field ones, and they weren't always flush, but I wasn't expecting them to be because they were like $30 knives, $50 knives, somewhere around there. Um, so I, I was really disappointed by that. Another thing that disappointed me actually was how gritty this system is. Um, it's gotten a little bit better with use. Okay, I say it and then not really. So, one thing that you might know about um, the innovations on this guy is that the way that they taper the blade tang, the blade tang and they ground it, 
It's supposed to be a really easy pull with a really stiff close. So they got it to where there is, it is a fairly stiff close, okay? It takes a decent amount of effort to close that right here. But it is incredibly gritty. I don't know if it just needs to have a break-in period. I mean, I've been opening this and closing it like crazy to try to kind of smooth it out. But this thing is not what you would expect from CRK. I've disassembled it several times, put grease in there. And then I've run it dry just to try to break it in and put grease back in. It's just at this point right here, whenever it's trying to overcome that little round arch, it just gets so gritty and so hard to open that it almost feels like there should be a half, like this is, has a half stop, but it doesn't. It's not supposed to have a half stop. I think if they just kept it square, then that would be better, and then you did, would have a half stop, but this doesn't have that. And so that's really disappointing to me because I want it to be a CRK smooth slip joint, and that's not what this is. <clears throat> Another thing that I wasn't a huge fan of is I love the CRK rounded spine, kind of like what you see on uh, the Swish Buoy here. I think that's the only other knife actually now that I have that has a rounded spine. That's sad. Anyway, this doesn't have that, and I was kind of hoping that they could have a rounded spine and then maybe even a rounded uh, back spring. I mean, if they're not going to make it flush, might as well round it anyway. Uh, but they didn't do that. And then this gets into one of my major gripes on this knife and why I almost convinced myself to try to keep this knife just now in this review, talking about the aesthetics and how gorgeous it is and all that, just because I do think that this is one of the most beautiful blades out there. Just absolutely stunning. But this knife is $450. Now, to put that in perspective, a small Sabenza, which I think... I mean, I'm not at the one machining it, but I think that the small suspense is just a little bit smaller than this. But, you know, you have to cut out the frame lock and you have to make sure the geometry is right and carburize it and all that stuff. A small suspense is 375. Okay? Th 375. A large Sabenza, of course, I'm talking about the plane, but this is plain too, is 450. The same price as this, a large Sabenza. It has a frame lock and all that stuff. Why, with all the issues that this has also, it's not the smoothest one, the smoothest slip joint ever. Why couldn't they, why is it 450? I don't see it. I don't, they don't have the same fit and finish. There's not the same rounding and machining that goes into that. Yes, you have to do the, you have to um, make the, uh, you know, the blade, the certain shape that they want to try to make it, um, you know, have that light pull and stuff, but they didn't even execute that well, in my opinion, because it's so gritty. And then, like, if you say, well, you just have to break it in, then it'll smooth out. I shouldn't have... I, I don't understand why on a CRK, when you've never had to break CRKs in, all the CRKs that I've gotten have been smooth. I mean, they get freer, but they don't get smoother. They're just as smooth out of the box it it just bothers me and the price just doesn't make sense because it is you know smaller it appears that there's less work i mean i'm just uh i'm rambling on the same point now maybe you disagree and if you disagree that's okay but it just all of that just kind of ruined this knife for me because even though it's this beautiful design that's very functional and I don't know, maybe in a moment of weakness, I will pick, whoops, I will pick one up again just because of how beautiful it is. <clears throat> it just, the price doesn't make sense, and there's a lot of issues with it. Maybe this is a dud, but this is 50 that they brought to Blade Show, and I'd expect that out of 50, they would have tested all 50 of them, because it's only 50. It's not like, you know, this is a regular, sub, like, you know, it's not like these are being manufactured like the Sabenzas, where there's hundreds going out. I don't know. I don't know. Put what you think in the comments, whether I'm overreacting, whether you agree with me. Um, if, if you have an Impendo, if you have a different experience, if you do, and this is like the greatest knife ever, then I might have to pick another one up because, like I said, it is just, it's just beautiful. And I would love to like it and to own it, but I just can't justify it right now. So, I've already sold this guy. I'm about to ship it off tomorrow. And I'm going to be getting a Holt Spectre. I'm going to be getting on their books tomorrow um 
I really hope that I didn't just keep myself from getting it by announcing it. I hope that if you're watching this video, you decide you didn't want the Spectre and so you're not going to try to steal my spot. Um, but uh, anyways, that's the sad review. I love CRK, guys. I love a sub I love the Sabenzas. I'm, I'm going to have to own another one down the line. There are just certain reasons why I don't own one now. But, I mean, I just I can't justify it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, stay tuned for, um, you know, more videos. I'm going to have one coming out on this guy soon. This is the North Arm Skaha 2, which did not disappoint. I'm also going to be getting more experience with this little Rhino, which I'm continuing to absolutely love. Great value right there. Um, planning on doing philosophy videos and stuff. Uh, Maybe a review on the Ultra Tech, even though everyone has a review on the Ultra Tech, might just find its way in a philosophy video. Uh, so yeah, um, maybe talking about buying back knives that you sold, and uh, talking about value of knives, stuff like that. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope if you're a CRK fan, which I am too. Again, I didn't. Uh, I didn't rattle you too much, and I didn't get you stirred up too much, but uh, I hope you have a good one, guys. See ya.